Yo, 2023 is in the house. All right, I didn't sound off, Danny. Yo, 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 2023 is in the house. Still didn't sound very authentic, but hey, we're here talking about goals because it's a new year, time for resolutions. So let's get going. So happy new year and it's 2023 and time for some goals. But the best way to meet a goal is to have a plan to meet that goal. And so that means you have to have actionable steps to do in order to meet that goal because a goal without steps to accomplish it is just hope. I hope to get better. I hope to make more money. I hope to get healthy and those kind of things. But if you have a plan, you'll stand a much better chance of achieving your goals. And so I'd like to talk to you about my professional goals for this year. And one of my big goals is I want to get better. I want to be a better painter. And not do I just want to margin, be a marginally better painter. I want to be a better painter as fast as I can get there. So the way to do that is through consistency. And my goals this year in order to be a better painter is I want to paint more from life. Even paint more outside plain air painting because I have some ideas of things I want to do later in the year with plain air painting. So painting from life and painting outside in plain air are two of the methods by which I think I'll become a better painter and a better seer and get better at putting my marks on the canvas. So I'd like to do three paintings a week that are from life or outside in plain air. So I think that's completely doable, but it'll, it'll take commitment in order to do that. Number two, in my studio paintings, I would like to do four studio paintings a month. And that's, now it's not size dependent. I'm not saying I'm gonna do 16 by 20s or you know mural size paintings, but I'd like to do four studio paintings a month. And that's gonna be a challenge for me. But I think in the long run, that's really gonna help me get better much faster. Now this third one really involves you because it's for YouTube. You know, YouTube, I expect at some point, will become an income producing stream. But I wanna get better at it. So this year, and I, I'm gonna pull you along for it, I'm going to uh, build some kind of a backdrop or studio that makes the videos look better. My lighting's okay, but my lighting could certainly be better. And uh, to get a studio backdrop um, and a place to paint so things are set up, I think that would make me a more efficient. I'd also like to create longer form videos. When I originally began this, my idea was I wanted to take the viewer from concept to finished piece. And so that's what I'd like to see in painters. Um, I think it, rather than just see the painting, but to see the process, what are, what was the idea? What was the sketch? How did he or she gather their materials? Then how did they prepare their canvas, paint it? And what was the finished piece? It'd be a longer form video and maybe it'd be in a couple of different sections, you know, maybe it would make up two or three videos, but I think that's really the way I'd like to move. The two ways to do that is be consistent. I'd like to do weekly videos and uh, I'll work my best to do that. And then don't quit. I think in most things, we have a lot of people that get to the point that they were at the tipping point when they were about to really achieve the things they hoped that they could achieve. And then they quit because it's frustrating. They don't see the return on their investment of time and money and they quit and they quit too early. I, I have no intention of quitting. And I think besides uh, assuring myself I'm not going to quit, my family and those around me need to be assured, okay, looks like he's really going to do this. And so uh, it gathers support around me and helps me get where I want to be faster. Finally, I'll, I also want to move into printed products. I believe a lot of my paintings really lend themselves to cards and um, art prints and calendars, those kind of things. And, I, and I'd like to move in that direction. And lastly, uh, digital products. I'd like to uh, do some digital products so they can be available for download. 
there's a video in the future that's going to talk about the different streams of income and, and what I think that means for the artist. So stick around with me this year. Uh, these are my new glasses that my daughter gave me for Christmas. I think I'm rocking them, but that's just my opinion, which may not be shared by others. So if you're enjoying this, if you want to like track along on this journey, because a lot of the things I've spoken about are going to be videos. And so if you want some input into those, then leave me a comment below and, and I'll certainly consider those things. I, I, would, I would really love that. If you're enjoying the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thanks so much. Happy New Year. Can't wait to see you throughout this year. And until then, we'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot.